Uh, Marisol, I am in a nostalgic consumer wonderland over here with, uh, gee, your hair smells terrific cologne, Smith Brothers black licorice cough drops. I didn't know you could still get this stuff, but uh, Gigi Stone actually uh, foraged for us and has an array of this. Good morning. Your hair does smell terrific, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> Why, thank you. <laughs> uh, you know, a lot for ladies if you've ever been wild about a certain kind of lipstick or hair product, but one day you just can't seem to find it anymore in any store. It can drive you crazy thinking you may have lost Access to it forever. That is actually not necessarily true. Oh, beautifully. Remember hair. Body on Tap? Body on Tap. It's a great shampoo. Or Crystal Pepsi? <laughs> How about Fizzies? <laughs> they had a strong yet fleeting hold on our spending dollars until, like thousands of other products, they were discontinued. And all but vanished. Well, L'Oreal has a clear coat nail polish, and I've tried to look for it on eBay now. I really wish that they still made jeans that had spandex in them, like Buffalo and Seven. A beta makes a hair conditioner called Sap Moss. Some people never let go. For Brian Florence, a drawer full of recently discontinued Arm and Hammer deodorant is just the beginning. I have a, a lot of different discontinued sodas. I have Pepsi Blue, uh, DNL. Coke 2 cans and some Josta cans as well. Florence hoards sodas as they're being phased out. Right now he's stocking up on Mellow Yellow and Ruby Red Squirt. He travels across the country in search of sodas that are no longer in production. I take at least one big trip. I go out to Colorado, Nebraska, Wyoming and try to do a little trip, mini trip probably at least twice a year. Florence sells the sodas on his website but there is one that got away. The original Mr. Pibb it still haunts him. Mr. Pibb is my favorite. I would say that uh, unequivocally, I would want Coke to produce it again, so hopefully they're watching this right now. People who become rabid brand loyalists, it reminds them of a time that maybe was better in their lives. For some people, it could be the smell of a shampoo that reminds them of 10 years ago or 15 years ago when things were less stressful. This desire for the products of yesterday has created a small cottage industry on the web and at one store in particular. Your hair smells terrific, which had a very distinct fragrance. This is from the 70s, the 80s. At the Vermont Country Store in Weston, Vermont, third generation owners, the Orton brothers, don't care if something's been discontinued. We're known as the purveyors and it's practical and hard to find. They'll find it anyway. <laughs> Do you miss your Mrs. Beasley doll or downhill dasher sled? They stock it. It's our passion and the passion of our merchants to go and search all over the country, in fact, all over the world, uh, for things that people ask us about. And if they can't find it, they often buy the formula to make it themselves. One of their biggest surprises, Life Boy Soap, made famous in the movie A Christmas Story. Life Boy, on the other hand. <laughs> Which is the first deodorant soap ever invented. It's strong stuff and it's very hard to find, so people are very excited when they see that. So don't take your favorite shampoo or soda for granted. It may not be here as long as you think. <laughs> so here are some of the best ways to find discontinued products. You want to expand your search. If it's not available in your part of the country, you can right. look at other parts of the country, find it there or on the web. Um, you want to follow the trail, work backward through the purchasing chain to the retailer, supplier, and manufacturer to see if you can buy directly from any of them. And you also want to get specific. You can use the product's UPC code on its box. And if you don't have the exact model or name of the item you're looking for before you try to find it on the web, it can actually really help I'm you. I'm sure eBay probably and it's yeah. full of this kind of yeah. stuff. Right? When you find it, buy it because it, it may disappear forever. Yeah, I'll be hoarding more Tigris <laughs> cologne. Oh yeah. But a little tab I over there. Like, I like a can of tab. May I? have to thank the Vermont I... Country Store for all these cool products. Oh, thanks you, to them. And this is the original Botox. Frownies. Really? You sleep. I still have these. <laughs> is that right? You, yeah, you stick it on your forehead. It works so well I can't get it out of the box. <laughs> really and you stick just, it on yeah. your forehead and you wake up and, and suddenly you're 10 years younger. Hang on, you're your chilada. Okay. My oh. question is that Candy? Do you really want to eat candy that's been sitting around since the 70s? If you love it, sure you do. We'll be right back, everybody. Good. Is it good? Let me have a sense. Coming up on Good Morning America, if you could pick one person out.